Hi guys, today I wanted to share four mistakes that I've made when learning how to dance so that you don't have to and you can learn faster and more efficiently. So if you're excited, give this video a like and stay tuned till the end of this video. I'm going to show you how you can join hundreds of my students and learn from me personally. Okay, mistake number one that I made was setting unrealistic expectations. What I would do is I would watch music videos. That's how I learned how to dance in the beginning, right? I didn't have a teacher, I learned on my own. So I would watch those amazing dancers and I would try over and over again to copy their moves. But of course, those movements were difficult. Those were professional dancers doing them. I wasn't ready for moves like that. I just liked the way they looked on them. So instead of starting with the basics, which was very boring <laughs> to me, I would spend countless hours trying to copy those fancy advanced looking moves. That was my goal. I wanted to look like dancers in music videos. And you see, even though I practiced for such a long time, I still didn't look nearly as good as the dancers in the videos. I looked stiff and awkward. So that was kind of like the opposite of what they looked like. And I didn't know why. I was doing everything everyone else was telling me to do, practicing. But you see, even though I was ready for those amazing looking moves, complex moves, because simply I wanted to learn them, my body was not prepared for that. I had to start from the ground up and build my skills from the ground up. I had to work on my coordination, on my rhythm skills first, on body control, and then gradually my body started to loosen up and those movements started to look more and more natural. But I had to start with the very basics, even though I didn't really want to. You see, now I realize, and that's how I teach in my online program, you have to build the skills from scratch. You have to prepare the body to be able to later learn those movements that you want to learn. And I also believe that to keep on learning how to dance, you know, it's a process. It lasts a while. You will not learn overnight. You have to stay motivated. And the only way to stay motivated is if you see results, right? You have to be able to see that the time that you're putting in into practice, you're getting, a, you're getting a return on it. If we learn something that's appropriate for your level, for your skill level, you will be able to learn pretty quickly and you'll be able to see progression from movement to movement, from lesson to lesson. It will keep you going. Now, if you attend learning something that's not meant for your skill level, you will feel discouraged. It will feel, learning will feel like an uphill battle and you might even just give up because you won't see those results. Let me know in the comments if that happens to you guys. If you're seeing a tutorial, you're trying to learn the move and then you're like, okay, I just cannot get it. Okay, mistake number two, practicing too much. I thought that in order to be an amazing dancer, to look like professional dancer, I have to do what they are doing. So I practice for hours because I know that's how professional dancers train. What I didn't know, especially when practicing those complex looking technical movements is that if you do that for too long and too much at once, it will lead to injuries. Yeah, just to give you an example of what I would do a lot is this move. It is hurting my knees just watching that. <laughs> I didn't realize that if I practice too much, it will lead to injuries. As simple as that. The body needs rest. You have to give it rest. It's just like with working out, right? The body has to be also properly warmed up and prepared for those more challenging moves. I didn't know that. I thought somehow when I put in that huge amount of time all at once into practicing, somehow I'll be able to skip the process leading to building the skills and all of a sudden I will be an amazing dancer like that. Mm, yeah, skills such as rhythm and coordination, especially, they need time to be developed. You're not going to get that in a month just because you want to. Uh, it takes consistent and smart practice. Number three is following too many teachers and learning too many dance styles all at once. And just to paint a picture, these are the styles that I learned. Seriously. And I was learning most of those styles all at once. It was just a lot of confusion because, you know, each dance style has its own foundation. Each teacher has its own methodology. I think I would made more progress if I just organized it better. I also recommend uh, this to my students. 
you know, you have to ask yourself, why are you learning how to dance? Like, what is the goal? That way you'll have an idea of what style you can learn. I see a lot of beginners who, uh, they tell me their goal is to be able to learn how to dance in the club to like top 40 music. They have no rhythm, no coordination. So then when I ask them, okay, so what have you tried to fix it, to build those skills? They tell me, oh, I've taken a bunch of salsa classes. Okay, so I'm asking, so you go to a lot of salsa events then, or maybe that's your goal. And they're like, no, I don't even like salsa music. Why are you then learning salsa? Why are you learning a style that you will never use? You have to know what you're going to do with the skills once you build them. How are you planning to use them? Mistake number four is not filming myself. When I started especially, there was a lot of times where I did feel discouraged when I was learning, something was not working out for me. I would give up for you know a few weeks even at a time and then that was also disrupting the process of learning. I wished I had videos to look back on to compare myself how I looked when I just started week one to how I look five months later, seven months later, a year later. If I could see that progress, if I had a proof that it would help me so much more with being motivated to learn even more. And I did make a video on how you can learn without losing motivation, so um, we'll link it below this video, you can check it out. I don't have my early videos, but I do have videos from like early 2000s. Let me know if you guys would like to see like, my reaction video. Uh, I don't, I should not be suggesting that, but let me know in the comments and maybe I'll I'll make it. It's, it's gonna be bad. I mentioned it before, but I will remind you again, if you would like to build permanent dance skills plus the confidence to be able to dance in any social setting and you would like to have and follow a proven step-by-step -step system with no guesswork, you would like to learn with my help, feel free to book a free consultation with me. We'll see if we can work together. The link is below this video. And you guys, let me know also if you would like those dance tips videos. I have a lot of dance tips to share. Let me know what topics you'd like me to discuss and subscribe to my channel. I mean, it's free. You can unsubscribe at any time. Um, like this video, share it with your friends, whoever needs my help. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I trust you. But I need you. And you're off my radar now.